thank you very much uh, once again. Um, uh, Sanya, um, Sunavinka, uh, thank you very much. It's been, a, yeah, it's been actually quite very interesting uh, from Ainil to work with my collaborators and fellow curators and other people together. And uh, we're very thankful to Suprana for hosting a very significant part of the exhibition. Uh, as we are aware of the history of the building and itself from a former sugar factory, I thought that it's also, it's somehow added to the the decisions of the form of works that we decided to put in here because um, a lot of the works in here also deal with like some of the geopolitical histories that we share uh, through various aesthetics and all that. Um, I, in the beginning when we made the choice, uh, the theme of the biennial from the gift, uh, from the void came the gift of the cosmos, the idea was the curators to work on, <coughs> I really trusted that they could somehow craft out different themes and also how they would place the artists. So a lot of the decisions I actually did not even like, uh, yeah, I guess I contributed to it in my own way in terms of like uh, conception, but in terms of like placing of works, I think it was very left to like uh, the curators and also the biennial team to do that. Uh, Kwesi Henyai and the Exit Frame Collective were responsible purely for the uh, public program. We did a quite a number of workshops and also like uh, uh, reflective programs, which uh, the last one was in November. So uh, I guess basically I would like uh, Patrick to talk briefly about the decisions, some of the key decisions in, um, yeah, uh, installing some of the works here. And then uh, Kwesi will talk about the public program and then what it's meant to the Bible. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um... So basically, we looked at the, um, the kind of history that um, Sukarna um, uh, had, and also um, the kind of work that would yeah, come in conversation with the, um, uh, the history, and also with the kind of um, works that would also um, sort of speak to each other in, um, um, to bring out certain narratives that maybe we probably maybe might not might not have also considered. Um, first, I also want to say there was also we, we there was also um, another venue that we were hoping to uh, um, uh, have. That was the Railway Museum, and um, uh, it was it was an, it would have been really um, an important site. Also, looking at the uh, kind of uh, uh, structures and the system, and in terms of global capital around the railway the system and uh, also bringing attention to even the Royal Museum, but then that uh, couldn't materialize. So uh, most of the art, artworks also had to move. Um, yeah, at a certain point when we had also, we had, asked, we had actually arranged <laughs> almost everything. And yeah, so we had to do a lot of reworking and rethinking about what goes uh, where again and how they can actually, things work and actually speak to themselves. Again, so um, yeah, you'd see. Uh, I think work that also works that speak to um, these uh, um, crises of capital, and um, 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 especially with work like let's say the um, um, sugar factory. Yeah, it's quite poetic that uh, she she had the, uh, her work here, and um, uh, you see Musa's work about the uh, archives from. Um, drawings of archives from um, um, drawings of uh, reimagined um, archive from uh, World War Two, and um, and uh, what's his name? In, uh, the um, of so so Sonia Kurasami and um, uh, uh, work with the printmaking and the kind of dreamy dreamy landscapes that she provides us with, and the uh, 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 and Max work with them. Uh, uh, re, uh, uh, bring to mind the kind of relations that we 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 uh, we had with the non-aligned movement and the kind of uh, um, really material uh, uh, things that were that were made, like with the, uh, the statues that were commissioned uh, by um, um, uh, Nkrumah to be made in, on, on his behalf with the uh, with the Polish um, artist, and uh, a whole lot of. Uh, other connections that you you make so yeah I mean not 
give you spoilers. <laughs> I just tease you. So, uh, Ajana. Thank you, Patrick. Hello. Um, yes, so I'm Kwesi Ohinyaye, the only representative from Exit Frame. So, my colleagues, Kelvin, Adwa, uh, Atu, and Bernard, we salute you back home and wherever you are in, in the world. Um, yes, in addition to our responsibility for the main exhibition, we also wanted to, or well, we were tasked to develop um, uh, a parallel program which would complement the main exhibition and which would also kind of disseminate <coughs> the ideas we were uh, dealing with in the show being, well, you know, the void, the space for politics, uh, um, and all of these heavy, heavy, you know, topics. So we wanted to find ways of uh, bringing dynamic ways of, uh, of also, you know, dealing or uh, processing these, these, these ideas. And this is where we, we invited uh, extra collaborators from all over the world, from Asia, from uh, Africa, from you know, North America, and so on, to join us in this, in this processing. So you are part of the second phase of this, which is the ending of it. But uh, the first phase of the public program happened in November, as mentioned by um, Ibrahim. I'm grateful to Lily, uh, to, to um, Nevenka, the MGLC team, everybody, and for supporting us you know, to be able to activate Ljubljana and entangle it uh, in a global web of uh, you know shared shared concerns. So please feel free, walk around. Uh, let's have more conversations after here. Thank you.